What's going on everybody? It's been a minute since I've posted anything here on YouTube. Uh, the ending of my last opens video kind of was going to lead into what I was going to do for 2022. Uh, but there was a lot of things that happened between that video and this one. It's January 14th now. Um, so I threw my name in for the Bassmaster Southern Opens as soon as registration opened for the rest of the Bass members. And I found out shortly after I posted that video for Lewis Smith that I had been placed on the waiting list. Um, I registered three minutes after it opened and I was 95th on the waiting list for the Southern Opens. So without a little bit of a chance to even get into those tournaments, I pulled my name out of those and threw my hat into the Northern Opens. So I was told there were still a couple spots open, uh, hoping that I got in there quick enough. You know, it takes a little bit of time for all that to shake itself out and let them know where you stand. And again, I was placed on a waiting list. Uh, originally, it looked like I was top five for that waiting list, for the waiting list for all three of those events, that being the James River, Lake Oneida, and Upper Chesapeake. Um, long story short, I was not in the top five in the waiting list, and it didn't really look like I was even going to get a chance to compete in those either. So I pulled my name out of the Northern Opens, and I am not competing in any Bassmaster events. As, sorry, any Bassmaster Opens this year. I have decided to throw my name into the Central Division for the Toyota Series with MLF this year. And that schedule is Gunnersville, the end of February, Dale Hollow, in, I think that's March, April, end of March, beginning of April, and then Chickamauga at the beginning of May. So, stacked schedule, awesome lakes, uh, super pumped about it. It's going to be a little bit different getting away from Bassmaster for a little bit, but you know what? I'm really, really excited to get on the road and head out to some of the best fisheries that this country has. And I'm hoping at some amazing times of year. I know, it, you know, when you got 200 plus boats on the water for whatever tournament, it, it changes some things. You know, the fisheries don't normally fish to their potential, but you know, the big ones live there. I mean, world record smallmouth is caught on Dale Hollow. Who says there's not another one there? We're going to go try and find out. And you know there's world-class bass in Gunnersville and Chickamauga. Come on, it's the Tennessee River. There's going to be some mega bags caught in those events. Uh, really looking forward to it. And then, you know, be bopping around home, fishing tournaments all over Wisconsin as usual. Uh, I did enter a club, so I will be a part of the Bass Nation this year and still giving myself an avenue to try and make that classic going into next year. So I just wanted to come on, give you guys a real short rundown of just some of the things I got working into 2022. Uh, you got any questions or anything? Did you have any lakes in Northern Wisconsin or even Northern Minnesota, smaller lakes, that you think would be a good idea to go fish you know, for a weekend? Drop them in the comments, because I'm kind of, I'm looking for some different bodies of water to get out to, just to try something a little bit different. So, thanks for watching. Keep your eye on the channel. Got a lot of things coming. Have a great weekend.